And today's story, how many of you ever watched, listen to your story hour? Anyone? Maybe that's just an East Coast thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that you heard yours. You did? Well, today's story comes from the River Jordan. You ready? John was at the River Jordan, and his cousin was Jesus. And as Jesus was getting ready to do his ministry, to do what God had asked him to do, God said, go down to the Jordan River where your cousin is baptizing people. That's why we call him John the Baptist. Go down there and he's going to baptize you because this is what I want you to do. And you know, an amazing thing happened. Jace, you know what happened? Jesus went down in the water and as he came up out of the water, there was a bright light that shone down from heaven and then there was what looked like a dove. A beautiful dove came down and landed right on Jesus' head. And then there was a big rumbling noise that some people thought was just thunder. But Jesus heard his father's voice and he, everyone else heard somebody speaking. And you know, what they, you know what God said to his son? This is my beloved son in whom I am so pleased. Listen to him. So can you imagine... That was how Jesus started his ministry. God basically put a megaphone on and said, Hey, everybody, this is my son. Listen to him. Jace, wouldn't you love that? If Jesus said, Hey, this is my son. Listen to him. And you know what? That's what he says about each one of us. He says, you are my sons and my daughters, and I want people to listen to you because you are going to tell them about me. That's what Jesus did, and that's what we get to do. And that is why we have this tub up here. Do you see the glass? That's to keep the water from coming out. But I am in water now that is up this high because just now I have two of my new friends who are going to come, and I am going to put them underneath the water. And you say, why do you put them underneath the water? Because we are pretend pretending. We are pretending that old things are being washed away, and new things are coming to life, a new life. So, come on down. Say hello, Ingrid. Hello. What? Are you too scared? Hello, Ingrid. How many of you know Ingrid? How many of you that know Ingrid thought that she was a member of this church? Ingrid's been hanging around here for three, almost four years. And I think that in times past, she's been asked whether or not she wants to become an official member of the church and get baptized because she's been a Christian all her life and she has lived in Santa Clarita how long? Mm, about 50 years. From, yeah, 50 years, actually. 50, 50 years. Anyone lived in Santa Clarita longer than 50 years? Okay. All right. Not too many people. This is a lady who has watched Santa Clarita become Santa Clarita. And she's at our church, and she is saying right now that she would like to be part of the family of God through baptism and also part of the Seventh-day Adventist church. And in a moment, we're going to invite someone else to join us uh, for the time when we do the whole voting thing that's going to come up. But now, because of your love for Jesus, and because this is the moment when, when we celebrate that. We celebrate what already is. That's what I told Ingrid. I said, you are already engaged to Jesus. This is like a wedding. This is like the moment that we have all waited for and we see this is a person saying, no more with the old, up with the new. So I'll grab this, you grab my arm, and I'll say this. 
Ingrid, because of your love for Jesus and his salvation of your life and our lives, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> I've got him. I've got him. <laughs> Ingrid is bound for amazing things. She's recently uh, retired and has some interesting ideas about what God is going to do with the rest of her life. Watch out for Ingrid. CJ's? Ready to get wet? Okay, no. Wait, wait a couple years, and then I'll talk to you, okay? Yeah, you can sit down. Yeah. We had you guys sit up here because we want you to know that Jesus loves you so, so much. And I'm going to invite my other friend. Yep, she's, she's just climbing the stairs, and she's, come, she's not bashful at all. Did you see she read the scripture so nicely today? Come on down. Pastors sometimes get calls like this. Hi, I'm in Oregon, and um, some people that I have been studying the Bible with are going to come to your church. And they're, Jay, sit down, sit down. All right, he's just checking to see the water level's the same. It's still the same, Jay. Um, and as a result of them coming to our church, they brought their mom. They brought their mom with them to church. Um, did you say that you live how far from the church? 20 minutes. No, 15 minutes away. She lives 15 minutes from the church, and you've lived in Santa Clarita for? Two years. Two years. Okay. We want you to know that because of the diligence of one of our brothers up in Oregon sending his people that he was studying with, with their mom, to church. We have another sister who would like very much to become part of this family of God. She has had many opportunities in life uh, spiritually. Some she has taken, some she has not. I'd like to have anyone raise their hand that is, would like to say, I've taken all the, all, all the opportunities to... to to be spiritual in my life. How, how many of you have taken all the opportunities? See, I didn't think so. <laughs> See, so she's just like us. She has decided that this opportunity is too good to pass up, and she wants to be baptized, and she wants to join this family, and I'm so, so grateful Thanks, for this opportunity. So I'm going to ask you to grab a hold of my hand. Patricia? Miller. Is there, is there a middle name? Kathleen. Patricia Kathleen Miller. Do you know her now? How many of you have seen her in church before? We have some people who watch. <laughs> Patricia Miller, because of your love for Jesus, because you want to be part of his family forever and ever, and that this has been something you have wanted for many, many years, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every pastor, sit down. I haven't called you yet. Look, dude, I'm going to put you in this pool. <laughs> I got your name, Jace. Any pastor worth their salt at this moment has to say this, so I'm saying it. There's some out there who know that their commitment to God has not been cemented. If you'd like that to happen, I'm happy to meet with you and to bring you to that place of knowledge where you are comfortable with making a public statement like this. If you have already been baptized, 
and you would like the opportunity to join the Seventh-day Adventist Church and its message and its mission, then follow in the footsteps of my friend Erica, who's going to come up a little later, who, because of her baptism, her second baptism in the River Jordan in Israel, is going to join our church today on profession of faith. She knows. She believes. She is active. And she is saying, I want everyone to know that this is where I need to be for now and always. And kids, listen. I know that you love Jesus. I know because you're here today, and I know that your mommies and daddies and aunties and uncles and grandmas and grandpas, they love Jesus too. So watch carefully. Watch mommy and daddy, watch auntie and uncle, watch grandma and grandpa. Learn from them. And then when you are ready, I will be happy. I will be happy to baptize you as well. Okay? Just like Jesus and his cousin John. Amen. I'm going to invite Erica and her family to come up at this time. And um, while they are making their way up, uh, again, I'm going to remind the congregation, uh, we were actually in board meeting the other night and we were thinking about people to be on the nominating committee, which is coming up now in September. And we mentioned Erica's name and uh, immediately there was the church clerk, uh, Mrs. Janice Hinkle, who spoke up and said, she's not a member. And uh, Pat and Eric Thornburg looked at each other and then they made some phone calls later on and they said, we both saw Pastor Greg Honus, the guy before me, baptize Erica in the Jordan River in Israel. So they saw her get baptized and we decided two things and I hope you don't mind. Number one, we're not sure that Erica's first church where she had her membership upon her first baptism is even in existence anymore in the Southern California Conference. So we decided not to do a, an exhaustive search. Second, uh, we believe based on her second baptism that you know she has remained faithful up until from, from then until now in some respects and so I wanted to point out to the congregation something that you may or may not know that there are two certificates that we give out one is a certificate of baptism and the other is a certificate of profession of faith in the sense that if someone has already been baptized, like Erica, they have the opportunity to request membership in the Adventist church. And so the question then gets asked, well, have you been baptized? And if the answer is yes, and if the answer is yes to the vow statements that are on the back of the uh, little booklet here, uh, then the invitation is made to invite that individual to be part of the church by membership. I like to say this because it's true, but that in the Adventist church for many years, we have put two things very close together that need to be seen as two separate things. Number one, what we just saw was a baptism. Baptism is a recognition of what Jesus does in each of our lives. And it is a recognition by the church of that person's relationship with Jesus. I hope that's clear. The second is when that individual decides that they would like to walk with this missionary movement known as the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So we offer them that opportunity upon their baptism, but they have to also be interested in being part of and being a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Sometimes you will have seen baptisms where right in the baptistry, people are asking, can I have a motion to accept this person into membership? 
And I want you to know that that's a little quick. I'm wanting us to think carefully, especially in this day and age when so many people just don't know what they believe. I'm wanting you to be sure what you believe. I'm wanting you to be sure that you want to be part of the church. Because this church has a very specific mission. This church has a very specific message for this time in Earth's history. It's not like any other denomination on the face of the Earth. And I say that not boastingly, but I say that because it may be that you should think very clearly about whether or not you want to be a Seventh-day Adventist. Erica, thank you for bringing your beautiful family with you. Thank you, beautiful family. Your name? Andrea and? Alex. Alex, we've met before. Andrea, I think we've met maybe once. Thank you. Thank you for coming and standing with your mom today because she has decided to stand with Jesus. She is also asking that we accept her into membership of this local church, of the world church, of Seventh-day Adventism. I'd like to receive a motion at this time. Okay, it's been moved. Is there a second? See, what we're doing right now is actually a church business meeting, if you didn't know. Okay, do you understand what we are doing right now? This is a church business meeting, so I'm going to ask now all the, the members of the church, all in favor? And any opposed? Has nothing written on it, so we'll take care of that a little later. However, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. I believe somebody went into the archives. <laughs> thank you, Birker. Okay, there's proof. If you need, if you need proof, there's proof. That was a mission, uh, a trip to Israel that a number of people took several years back, and, and Erica was baptized at that time. That's awesome. I um, want you to know that uh, we are stronger together, and recognizing Erica today is an opportunity to also pray for the blessing of the Holy Spirit upon her, and I'm going to do that right now. Father in heaven, we just ask that as we progress forward, we're going to progress stronger now with Erica and her family. Lord, we just ask that your spirit would bless her, that, that she would see the mission in front of her, that you would guide and direct her life, and that we as a congregation would, would just be in awe of what you are going to do, what you already have done and what now you're going to do with Erica and her life and her family. We pray a special blessing on them as well, and we ask that as we move forward together, we will do so in the power of the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Actually, just wait right here. Ladies, if you would come up, I would love to give you these certificates. This is Patricia Miller and Ingrid Brown. I'm going to stand over here so that we can still be in in the camera. Patricia, come, come stand next to Erica here. I'll just move this over. Once again, I just want to say that I have explained to these ladies that there are two things that they're doing. One is they're being baptized, and the second is that they are requesting membership in the Adventist church. So thank you, church, for recognizing Jesus and his ministry in these ladies and for accepting their baptism today, is there a motion for Patricia and for Ingrid that we accept them into membership? Yes, Joe, there's a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you so very much. Any opposed? Thank you so very much. We look forward to what God is gonna do in your life, and I would also like the opportunity just to pray with you for a moment. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for all that you have done in our lives. Lord, we look forward to the day when you will come in the clouds of glory, but until that time, you have ordained that each one of us would have a ministry, that each one of us would move 
in the power of your spirit to accomplish what it is that you would like us to do. And Lord, these ladies have dedicated themselves to you today. We are witnesses of that and we are grateful for your power being distributed in our presence. We thank you, Jesus, for coming the first time. We are grateful for your death and your resurrection and we look forward to the day when we will see you in the clouds of glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.